differentiation of y equals tan x. Now we know that tan x is sine x over cos x. So we can use this and the quotient rule to work out the differentiation of tan x. So here, I've, what I've done here, I've let u equal sine x and v equals cos x. And the quotient rule for y equals u on v is v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. Here, because u equals sine x, we differentiate that to get du dx, and that gives me cos x. And differentiating the cos x, we get minus sine x. So just watch that negative sign there. Now, simply now replacing this v here, right, with the cos x. See, the v was the cos x. Cos x goes in there. Okay, and then we know that uh, du dx equals cos x. That goes in there. And now it's minus, and I'm putting the, the sine x, there's the u going in. And, of course, the derivative of um, cos x is minus sine x. That goes in there. So it's very important to get that negative sign coming in there. Because what happens now is when this becomes cos squared x, this becomes sine squared x. And, of course, v was cos x. So the top becomes cos squared x for sine squared x, and that identity is equal to 1. And 1 over cos squared x then changes because the reciprocal of cos is sec, so it becomes dy dx equals sec squared x. Now you may see that um, sec squared is written slightly differently. It's sec with a 2 there, which means exactly the same thing. All right, so that's the derivative of 10x.